What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. How you doing? You need to subscribe to my main channel. And I'm a little more active on that channel. Trying to go live a little more, but child, I can't seem to do like a 30 minute live or a 20 minute live. I just start running my mouth or answering questions. Next thing you know, it's almost two hours later. I don't talk to y'all to death. But I appreciate the ones <laughs> who are on all my channels and hang out with me at night. But tonight, I really thought about it. Although there's lots of things I could be doing, I think I just want to watch TV. I haven't watched TV, well, Netflix. in such a long time. I think I just want to relax and just crawl into my bed, shower and crawl into my bed. I don't want to, I just want to just relax and decompress because it's not something that I do on a regular basis. I don't do it on a regular basis. Maybe I'll answer or um, comment to a few, reply to a few comments and hold and light my little candles everywhere. I'm really into the candle thing now, honey. Ooh. And this is not normal, okay? I'm going to let you know, not normal. But um, the kitchen is a mess. We've been cooking. Of course, Bobby disappeared right after she done ate. She didn't help put nothing away, nothing. So I'm about to tell her to come back down and help. God. Look, I got two more years of this mommy stuff. And I would eat another piece of chicken, but I am so comfortable right now. I don't want to. I don't want to force it. The pasta. I'll be heating this up tomorrow, so I might even put a piece of chicken in this pasta. This was so good. Mmm. And I went to Sam's Club today. So here I go talking. I went to Sam's Club today. I go to pay. They be like, oh, sorry, miss. Your membership has expired. I'm like, whoa, hold up. When did it expire? It was like September. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't been here since September. It was like, nope. <laughs> so I had to get a new membership. And I wasn't planning on that. That wasn't in my budget. So, when I had to go back to the membership desk, Bobby and I in Sydney, what we were gonna do, we just got a little sushi platter. You can get a little party platter from Sam's Club, very good, for like 20 something dollars. And by the time we made it from the membership desk, it, back to get our groceries, Sushi gone. While we were walking to a car, I was like, hold up, where's our sushi? But I was thankful because, you know, we had, I had to pay for a new membership. And I downgraded the membership to the lowest one. So that's why I'm so hungry. So I had plans. We were going to mukbang that by the time we got home, I had to take Sydney and I was so sleepy. Cause I had to get up early to take Bobby to basketball. I said, freak that, I'm gonna take me a little nap, which I rarely do. <laughs> so I was like, Joy, get up and run. Get up and run, Joy, and I was like, I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> I having this whole conversation in this big head of mine. I was like, I can't, I just wanna close my eyes for a little while. Joy, you didn't run all week. I can't do it today, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> So, but I didn't do well this week at all. I didn't even work on my abs, nothing. But I really want to show you guys on my main channel. Even, I haven't changed my diet at all. Zero. I mean, I'm refusing to eat another piece of chicken because I don't want to be full. I'm comfortable. But I could. Definitely could. Mmm, the pasta is good. 
So, but I want to show you guys how I've lost over 20 pounds in just a couple of a couple of months, just by doing simple things. And I have not changed my diet. I love food too much. Shoot, I really do. Food is good. To be sacrificing all this goodness, mm mm, mm mm, boy bye. Mm mm. I'm not. Look, I'm not there yet. <laughs> look, I'm still eating. I'm not at that point yet. I'm sure my results will be way better if I wasn't eating this pasta. But then I look at it this way. I haven't eaten all day. All day. And it's 9 o'clock. So, I haven't eaten anything. So, girl doesn't get a pass? That's how I feel too. Huh, hunting? This is the last thing that I'm going to get out of here. Mm. Kanye West is in town. Today is Saturday. Don't know. Well, hopefully this will be up tomorrow. Sunday. Kanye West is in town. He's going to be at Joel Osteen Church. So the girls and I want to go. You know, I think, you know, Kanye's on his whole new life change, whatever. A different market. I like it. So right now, as the time of this video, 9 o'clock, he's at our Harris County jail i guess having service with his choir the concert whatever but i can't even get a ticket for a seat for the church service tomorrow evening sunday evening at joel osteen church packed book solid kaput there's no way you getting in without a ticket and the ticket there was no cost for the tickets but just so they can monitor the seating sold out tried been there done that sold out and i didn't know about it and i didn't find out about it until the last minute i think i found out about it thursday or wednesday the girls told me about it and i didn't know they would have selling tickets for it so missed out on that one i really want to go but i love a good spiritual good soulful choir and it just ooh, uh, hey hey you know it just gets you pumped up and stuff love it like the hymns and stuff i'm not a huge fan of that but something just gets my soul pumping when you got the beat and you make you a a a a yeah so i'm so disappointed that i'm gonna miss it and he's in houston Urgh. so i just wanted to let you guys know that and i know tomorrow morning sunday he's going to be um it be interviewed by Joel, I'm assuming. So, man, I'm a little bummed out about that. But that's okay. That's okay. We're all blessed in our own way. And, all right, this is the last, last thing. For real, for real this time. So, I had another friend of mine. If you're still here, stick around for this little tidbit. I have another friend of mine who had to leave their home within a week and a half they had to go it is what it is they had to go but they had to go and move to a different state and drive across the country i don't know how long that drive is maybe 18 15 hours with um kids animals and they had to move pretty quickly and they were you know disappointed and upset blah 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 but I'm like, you may not see the blessing now. I was like, you have family, you have somewhere to go, you have your place all set up, you have everything mapped out for you. And you have a beautiful, they moved into a beautiful roof over their heads. They didn't have to apply, no applications, no nothing. It was just waiting for their arrival. It was like the doors just opened up and they didn't want to go. So I finally, you know, texted my friend to see how she was doing how to move when unfortunately i didn't get a chance to see her before she left or the family and then she was like oh the kids are very happy they're loving the pool in the backyard okay okay they're loving the pool and they're loving this they moved to florida 
I'm like, okay, okay. I said, and she's like, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, where I'm going to work, blah, 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 blah. Nobody's stressing them about rent right now. But I was like, what did I say to her? It was good. Let me just tell y'all what I said to her. I said, sometimes we don't see the blessing in what God has in store for us. But look at what he did for you and your family. The kids are happy. They're loving the pool. I'm not sure if they're in school yet. But, you know, it's a process. It's a process. I said, look at that. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And even when I had to leave my house, I had a little time. I had a little cushion. But I still didn't know where I was going to go. I didn't. But he opened up this place and I absolutely, it's still a little pricey. <laughs> it's still a little pricey, okay? Which makes the struggle real sometimes. But I actually love being here at the piece. I just want to show you one little piece. This is going to be the longest video ever. So I just want to show you before I go. I want to show you, and I'll probably just sit down and quiet for a little while. I light another incense. I'm supposed to do the sage. I finally got sage for the house. Um, I'm supposed to do that throughout the house. Open um, the windows, the doors, and just have that negative energy that's surrounding the home, surrounding my spirit or whatever, and have that energy just leave. Because I'm definitely looking for that ultimate peace. Which I'm there. I just wish I had that financial blah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it's so peaceful and so calm. It's just nice. Even, hunty, I had to tell Clinton, my son, you don't got no job. So when we're not here during the day, don't be lighting no fireplace unless you're going to be paying for the gas bill. Okay? Shoot, got some nerve. Don't be light now. Don't even turn the heat on. Why don't you put on a couple of sweatshirts and hoodies before you even touch the heat? Sit here on all day eating breakfast, uh, continental fancy breakfast and stuff. He loved breakfast as his favorite food. Uh-uh. No, sir. I don't think so. So even Bobby was, was down here earlier and she sat in front of the fireplace. So with that said, we never know what God is creating for us with that higher being, whatever or whomever you believe in. I don't care if it's a trash can or a statue you believe in. It's whatever that works for you. Who will not have passed judgment in what you believe in. And if you don't believe at all, hold on to something. You got. We need something to hold on to, okay? And, um, you know... Whatever you believe in, you do you. It's, it's, it's You do you. I'm not into passing judgment on people like that. Mm -mm. And I don't like other people who do that. Because you don't practice the same religion or do something that that person does that you're wrong. Boy or girl, bye with that. Miss me with that. Anyway, with that said, I want to close out this video. But I want to show you how I'm going to end my evening just in reflection. Just in reflection, I'll sit down here for a little while, just with my thoughts. How about that? <laughs> but come with me, and we're gonna close out this video. Okay. <laughs>
So with that said, I want to say good night or good morning, whatever it is for you. And I love you and thank you for all your love and support and your kindness for those who show me kindness. And I'm not going to um, give my energy to the trolls or the negative people. And so with that said, um, I love you. Good night. Bye. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, see you later.